In recent years, scholars studying music, like scholars in other fields, have increasingly moved towards digital methods of analysis, study, and publishing. Sometimes the best way of sharing this research is through independent websites instead of through traditional publishing. Websites are usually not listed in the library catalog, so they can be a bit tricky to locate, but finding digital musicology projects in your area of study can save you a lot of time and effort, as they often include not only the conclusions of the study, but the raw data the scholars collected in the course of their work. Tracks on the Trail is an example of a digital project by a team of musicologists. A quick look at the staff and contributors shows that most of the people involved are professors of music history with support from media producers and student researchers. Looking at the information about who created the website is an important part of figuring out whether this is something that will be useful for an assignment. This website includes some of the results of the project, a podcast, essays, and teaching materials, but it also includes the data the team has collected in the form of a database. In this case, they've collected information about songs associated with political candidates, anything played at rallies, in commercials, and even in parodies or critical media. I can filter by things like campaign, event, or candidate, and I can also search for key terms. The results tell me the song, if it's been identified, the candidate it's associated with and whether it was supportive of them, and gives links to media where I can see how the music was used.